Well, welcome to your Tuesday morning practice. Um, recently, I've been having this interesting experience of like my relationship with yoga. It seems to be like on this kind of roller coaster. And I think that's natural for anything in our lives, right? Um, for at times our tools to feel like exactly what we need and at times for it to not feel like it's working in the way that it used to or um, even our relationship with our bodies kind of have this ebb and flow to them and having this conversation with myself that that's okay and that's natural right um and when I put into perspective like you've been doing this practice for like 15 years uh, of course there are times when that practice um it's going to feel different and I think part of the practice itself is to embrace that, to embrace the ebbs and flows, right? And the shifts and changes in our relationship to the yoga practice itself, not just to our body within the practice, but the practice. Um, and that being consistent and continuing to show up um, means that that relationship will continue to shift and evolve. And so, um, this practice this morning, uh, allowing yourself to be aware of your relationship to the practice itself. Again, not just to your body, not just to your breath, not just to what maybe arises in your heart and in your mind, but in relationship to your time on your mat and what that means to you and how that feels to you. Um, and trying to lean back as we notice and observe our relationship to the practice um, so that we can observe as judgment-free as possible. Yeah. Um, with that, allow your body to always be your guide still. Right? There's a lot of information within our bodies that it's easy to miss when we're moving about our day outside of our time on our yoga mat. And so allowing your body to be um, a really active participant this morning. Hello, Finn. <laughs> Um, so go ahead and find a comfortable seat. Maybe that's cross-legged seat, or you could sit on a block, whatever feels best. And then just trying to find that comfortable seat, let your eyes drop shut. Take a moment to build your posture from the earth up, the foundation of your lower half, the bowl of your pelvis maybe tilting your pelvis a little bit forwards and backwards. Searching for that sweet spot that allows your spine to grow nice and tall. As you continue to work your way up your spine, finding that slight lift of your chest, proud at your heart. Be shrug your shoulders up, back and open. Allowing your collarbones to widen. And then if it feels okay for you to flip your palms open at the sky, okay, let the backs of your hands rest on your thighs. Palms face up, open to receive. Encourage your shoulders to settle down into your torso. You might find a slight tilt of your chin up and down. Again, searching for that sweet spot. And soften through your jaw. Soften the areas around your eyes. Encourage the space between your eyebrows to release. Allow relaxation to reach across your forehead. And starting the process of noticing and deepening your breath. Start to feel the sensation as you expand each inhale. And the sensation of starting to lengthen each exhale. As you continue your breath, maybe notice how 
easy or difficult it feels to settle into stillness. not just within your physical body, but also within the mind. As you continue to deepen your breath and observe the movements of your thoughts, Encourage your thoughts to start to shift towards the outskirts of your awareness. <clears throat> and as you gently encourage your thoughts to the outskirts of your awareness, start to replace the thoughts of maybe your day ahead or anything that has already passed. with a deeper connection to sensation. Maybe feel the weight of your hands as they rest on your thighs. The feeling of your pelvis dropping into the earth or your yoga block. Maybe on your next inhale, you find a slight upward energy through the crown of your head. With your next exhale, you feel that sense of grounding through your lower half. Again, just turning our attention, our awareness to our relationship to our practice. with honesty, looking at our relationship to our practice. Knowing that there's nothing right or wrong about our relationship to our practice and the different ebbs and flows. But for today, right, how does that relationship feel? Does settling into your practice feel useful? Does it feel difficult? Does it feel like something that's simply routine or obligation? Or does it feel like a gift? And as you just check in there, go ahead and slowly start to bring one or both hands to your heart. No matter what the relationship to your practice feels today, and taking a moment of pause of gratitude for this practice and its consistent and steady presence that is always there if we choose to turn and reach to it. And starting our practice off with gratitude this morning and gratitude for the practice itself. We'll take three rounds of cleansing breath. So go ahead and ex <clears throat> excuse me, exhale your current breath. And take a deep inhale through your nose. The top pause, maybe take an extra sip of air. And then open mouth, exhale to release. And twice more like that, take a deep inhale. Maybe an extra inhale at the top. And then open mouth, exhale, let it go. Just one more time, big breath in. See your nose, breathe in again. And then cleansing, exhale to release. Shifting into your ujjayi breath, start to breathe in and out of your nose really intentionally. Allow your hands to start to release. Slowly start to open your eyes. We're going to continue in a seat. So finding a cross a good seat if you're not already in one. And then if you are in one, you might switch the leg that is in front. Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> and as you find your cross a good seat, 
Go ahead and take a big breath in, circle sweep your hands up to the sky. And on your exhale, we're gonna side bend to the left. So allow your left hand to fall to the earth. Reach your right hand up and over. Relax the weight of your skull and really anchor down through your right hip. And move a deep breath along the right side of your body. When your breath out, maybe reach just slightly further. Next inhale, rise and reach to your center. As you exhale, switching sides, right hand releases to the earth. Send your left hand up and over. Like slide your shoulder blades down your back body. And as you anchor through your left hip, extend a little bit further through your left fingertips. Crown breath out. You settle into your shape a little bit deeper. From here, we'll breathe in, rise and reach the ear center. And as you breathe out, dive forward any amount towards a forward fold across your shins. Relax your head, take one cycle of breath. Slowly start to rise up, and as you reach up tall, just switch the cross of your shins. Take a big breath in. We're going to do the same thing. As you exhale, take a tip over to your left side body stretch. Take one breath here. And follow your inhale to rise and reach through center. And as you exhale, opposite side, start to tip over to your right. Settle in and explore one cycle of breath. And as you inhale, growing tall to your midline, let your exhale dive you forward just like before into that forward fold. Take one cycle of breath in, yeah. and one cycle of breath out. And slowly start to rise up and make your way into a child's pose. Finn is deciding to chew on his bone right now for <laughs> extra attention. Go ahead and find your child's pose. Welcome. And as you find your child's pose, let your hands go a little bit further forward, finding a big lengthening through your spine. And then as you push your hands down and forward, stretch your sits bones back and down. So there's this active lengthening of your posture. And as you press your hands down and forward, reaching your hips back and down, breathe along your side one. Okay, go ahead and start to shift slowly into your tabletop pose, bringing your shoulders to stack over your wrist. The big breath in, cow pose, lift your heart, lift your tailbone. And then as you exhale, cat pose, just one time, press the earth away to curl your spine. Really try to let your head hang heavy. We'll start to make our way back to neutral and then tuck your toes and slowly stretch your sits bones up and back to find your first downward facing dog. Relax into your head, reach one heel towards the earth and allow that one heel to stay towards the earth for one cycle of breath. So change sides, reach your opposite heel to the earth and then take that one cycle of breath. And eventually start to wander forward until you find your way into your forward fold. Allow your knees to bend, let your belly get really heavy to your thighs. 
and relax the weight of your skull to the earth. And let your arm just hang, or you can take pinkies into opposite elbow creases, maybe swaying a little bit forwards and backwards. And moving with our next inhale, start to find your half by lift. Maybe press your shins away as you lengthen your spine. Lean slightly forward into the fronts of your feet to light up your core. And then exhale forward, fold, let it go. With your next breath in, strong belly, circle, sweep your hands all the way to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, gather your hands to heart center and allow your eyes to drop shut. Take a really full breath in through your nose. And then open up, exhale, let that breath go. So you inhale, circle, sweep your hands to the sky again. And your exhale, soften your knees and slowly start to hinge forward to your forward fold. Then a halfway lift, big breath in. And your exhale, step your left foot to the back of your yoga mat. Lower your left knee down to the ground and start to lift up through your heart and hands for your Anjane Asana. Now for today, instead of reaching your hips down and forward, draw your hips back in space. Get really strong through your right foot and pull your front ribs in. Up. Your right hand is going to grab your left wrist and we're gonna side bend over to the right side. Slide your shoulders out of your ears. As you lengthen your tailbone to the earth, think about lifting the fronts of your hip bones. And take one more breath here. Ben, you are doing the absolute most this morning. <laughs> With your next inhale, we're gonna start to rise back up through center. As you exhale, eagle wrap your right arm underneath your left. Right, wrapping at elbows and wrists, and then right fingertips are going to your left palm. If eagle arms don't work for you, go ahead and bring your forearms to kiss instead. We're going to inhale, lift our elbows up to the sky, finding the slightest back bend. As you exhale, think about keeping your hips relatively back in space, and then just cat to your upper back, pulling belly to spine, elbows to belly, aim your fingertips to the earth, maybe a slight tuck of your chin. And your inhale, start to scoop your eagle arms up to the ceiling again. As you exhale, unwind through goddess arms, opening your chest. Let your hands fall down to the earth or maybe to yoga blocks. And tuck your back toes, lift your back knee and lengthen both of your legs for your hamstring stretch. Is your inhale to extend your heart forward. And as you exhale, relax your belly towards your thigh. And same thing, inhale, big half by lift through your torso. And then exhale, dive towards your right thigh. One more time, inhale, half by lift. And exhale, fold towards your right thigh. Go ahead and bend into your right knee and then turn all 10 toes to the left to side lunge into your left knee. So left knee is gonna bend, staying uplifted. We're just here for a moment. Full inhale in. And as you exhale, rotate to the back of your yoga mat, low lunge. Release your right knee down to the earth. And then go ahead and find your Anjaneyasana second side. Then we're pressing energetically down and forward to draw our hips back in space. As you try to find that lift of the front of your pelvis and length through your low back, draw your front ribs in. Hands reaching high, take your inhale. Your left hand is going to grab your right wrist and tip over to your left side body stretch with exhale. As you continue to lengthen through your side bodies, let your shoulders soften down away from your ears. Continue to pull your front ribs to the back of your body for one more breath here. And as you start to rise up to your center, 
You go wrap your left arm underneath your right. Shoulders settle into your torso. Find an upward lift of your elbows and then slide your hands a little bit forward away from your face. With a big breath in, feel your shoulder blades helping to lift you into that slight little back bend. As you exhale, drawing back in space, cat the upper spine. So really round the upper back, pull your navel in. Follow your next inhalation to lift your eagle arms tall again. You exhale, unravel, goddess in your arms, really squeeze through your shoulder blades. Hands are going to fall to the earth, or maybe you grab onto yoga blocks. And start to lift your back knee and lengthen both your legs through your hamstring stretch. Well, breathe in your heart forward, take an inhale. And then let your exhale drop you towards your left leg. Then just take two more cycles of breath on your own, finding that halfway lift as you inhale and folding forward as you exhale. After your third cycle, find an extra halfway lift, bend into your left knee. And turning all 10 toes to your right, side lunge into your right knee, lengthening out your left. Take a deep and generous inhale. And with breath out, rotate to the top of your yoga mat, low lunge. We're going to step back into a high plank pose. Right foot will join your left. And take a nice big breath in. On your exhale, bring your right knee to your nose, pushing into your hands. But inhale, high plank, right foot steps back. Turning second side, exhale, left knee to your nose, push into your hands, pull your thigh to your chest. Inhale, high plank. And your exhale, shift forward and lower slow motion to your belly. Really actively stretching your elbows and crown in opposite directions. When you get to your belly, untuck your toes. And then before we go anywhere, pull your navel to your spine. Engaging your quads, press the tops of your feet into the earth. And using your thighs to press the tops of your feet down for your kneecaps lift. Keep your legs super, super strong. And then with your inhale, low cobra, lift your heart. Stay lifted as you exhale, re-engage through your quads, anchoring your feet even stronger to the earth. Lengthen through the nape of your neck and maybe hover your hands, taking another breath in. And as you breathe out, go ahead and release to your belly. Then inhale to your low cobra, high cobra, or upward facing dog. With exhale, we'll go downward facing dog, hips go up and back. And take a nice big breath in, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your yoga mat, forward fold. Breathe into your halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen out, find that slight lean forward, and exhale to release. We'll rise to stand with inhale, Urva Hastasana, big circle sweep. And exhale, hands to heart center, allow your eyes to close. Coming back to you in breath, inhale through your nose. And open mouth, exhale, let it go. With a deep breath in, circle, sweep your hands to the sky. On your breath out, soften your knees, hinge forward towards the earth. Halfway lift, extend with your in breath. Listen, this time we're going to step our right foot back on out breath. So we're gonna switch and start with the left leg this time, headed to a warrior one. So allow your right heel to spin down so your back foot's at about a 45 degree angle. As you commit to the lunge, your left leg slowly press through your feet and find your way up. Allow your shoulders to settle in. Find an upward energy through the top of your head and release some energy back and down to your right heel. The outside edge of your right foot is grounded. 
Maybe there's a slight energetic lift through the arch of your right foot. And then left hand is going to catch your right wrist. And just like we've been doing, we're going to side bend. So side bending to the left. Doesn't have to be a big side bend. Take one breath here. As you inhale, rise up through center. On your exhale, eagle wrap your right arm underneath your left. Shoulders out of ears, elbows lifted, hands away from your face. Breathing in, find that scoop of your elbows to the sky. And your amount of back bend. As you exhale, keeping your eagle arms, start to reach your fingertips forward, 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 hinging at your hips. You can stay at the hinge forward, or you can go all the way towards a humble warrior with eagle arms. Take one breath in. And one breath out. Strong through your legs. Use your inhale to push your feet into the earth and rise back up with your eagle arms. As you exhale, unravel through goddess arms, elbows open. Let your hands fall to interlace behind you. Take your right thumb on top of your left. Let your inhale just puff your heart up. And as you exhale, hinge forward. So just find the diagonal now. Go ahead and release your hands into airplane arms. Turn your thumbs out wide so your collarbones are spread across your heart. As you continue to lean into your left foot, come to your right tippy toes. You might start to spin your right hip square to the front of the room. We're going to slowly lean forward into an airplane pulse, taking your time to drive your left foot to fly. Push the crown of your head actively forward. Take one more breath here. It's super slow motion. We're going to slowly lower all the way down to our like runner's lunge. So as you bend into your left knee, keep your belly strong. You're going to bring your hands and your right toes to the earth at the same time as you can. Good. Turn all 10 toes to your right. Bend your right knee for side lunge or option to sink into Skandasana this time. Let's take a one inhale. And we exhale to the back of our yoga mat, low lunge. Set your feet up for your warrior one. So again, you might have to adjust the width of your stance, the length of your stance. And then when you're ready, press your feet and rise and reach. Let your out breath arrive you. And as you work towards energetically squaring your pelvis to that short edge of your yoga mat, go ahead and reach to the ceiling. The right hand catches your left wrist, the slightest side bend to the right. So think about this more as like an upward lift with the slightest tilt to the right side of your body. Just one breath here. When you're ready to come back through center, you're gonna to start to eagle wrap your right arm underneath your left. And then I'm starting to lift up through your arms, shoulders out of ears. Take a big breath here. You'll be finding that slight back bend. Think about creating distance between your elbows and your sternum. And exhale, start to hinge forward, belly is strong. Keep lunging into your strong right leg. Option to take it all the way to a humble warrior for a breath, or to stay in that more lifted zone. Hug your outer right hip to the midline. Then reintegrate through belly and legs, press your feet, root to rise. At the top, unravel through your goddess arms. Eventually, your hands fall to interlace behind you. Left thumb's gonna go on top of your right. You can keep your elbows bent and just draw your elbows back and together, or also lengthen your arms and really puff your heart to the sky. Maybe chin lifts up as you inhale, and find that diagonal hinge as you exhale. Airplaning your arms beside you, shrug your shoulders up, back, and down. Lean into your right foot. You might switch to square your hips, but we're gonna shift into airplane pulse without momentum. 
So instead of pushing off your back toes, maybe you come to the top of your left foot and then drive through your right foot to fly. You could have a little micro bend through your right knee or a more generous bend through your right knee if that's helpful. And then with your inhale, through the crown of your head reach forward and your left foot lengthen back. And your exhale, encourage belly to spine. Do one more cycle of breath. Now slow motion, start to bend your right knee. Like you're riding an elevator, slowly bring your hands and left toes to the earth together. Good, as you arrive, all 10 toes to the left, bend your left knee for a side lunge or skandasana. Take your inhale. As we exhale, low lunge to the top of our yoga mat, we frame our left foot. Press back into your high plank. Take a nice big breath in. On your exhale, bring your left knee to your nose. Inhale, high plank, left foot steps back. Exhale, right knee to your nose. Inhale, high plank. As you exhale, shift forward. Lower all the way to your belly with control. So untuck your toes, active legs, lifted knees, inhale, low cobra one time. As you exhale, release. Moving to our gecko pose, take your hands wide, turn your fingertips on the earth, elbows are stacked over your wrists, shoulders out of ears. Follow your inhale to rise up, pushing the earth away. Exhale, dip your right shoulder to center and look over to the left. On your next breath in, rise through your midline, lift and lengthen. Exhale, second side, left shoulder dips in, look to the right. With a deep inhale, bring it back through the midline. And exhale, lower straight down. Hands by your low ribs, push to your child's pose, send your hips to your heels. Take one big breath in. Push down and forward as you breathe out. One more breath like that, inhale. As you exhale, press your hands down and forward, stretch your hips back and down. And then slowly start to shift to find your way into downward facing dog again. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, and relax your head. With a big breath in, lift your heels high. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top, forward fold. Then a halfway lift, breath in. And we exhale to release down. We'll rise to stand with inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands connect at heart center. Take a full body breath in. Cleansing, exhale, release. Inhale, circle C. And exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, big breath in. Step your left foot to the back of your yoga mat, breath out. This time we're gonna set up for a high crescent lunge, so feet stay about hips distance. You're on your left to be toes. Try to reach your heart forward first. Get light through your fingertips, and then pressing through your feet, reach forward and up to rise, really active through your belly as you grow tall. Okay. Take a moment to go back. And then same as before, right hand's gonna catch our left wrist. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, lean to the right. Take one breath in. And one breath out. So we inhale up through our center. We're going to exhale, right arm underneath our left. 
shoulders out of ears. Start to scoop your elbows up to the sky, finding any amount of a back bend as you inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna to start to soften your left knee either a little bit, or you're gonna bring your left knee all the way to a hover as you cat your upper back. So as you round through your upper back, think about bringing your shoulders back over your hips. You're pressing down and forward through your right foot. Gently draw your chin to your chest. Okay, for two more cycles of breath. So tailbone is long. Rib cage is pulling backwards. Shoulders are out of ears. And then inhale, start to rise up slowly. Eagle arms lift. Exhale through your goddess arms. Hands will fall to interlace behind you. Right thumb's going to go on top of left. Get proud through your chest as you breathe in. On your exhale, start to lean into your right foot with breath out. Keeping or releasing the bind, lean forward into your airplane pulse. Press your right foot to flat. We lengthen our breath here. Pressure to bend your right knee. And just like before, you're going to slowly release down to the earth. Hands and left toes land simultaneously. We turn all 10 toes to our left to gain wide-legged forward fold this time just for a breath. Dive through your center. Slowly start to turn to the back of your yoga mat, setting up for your high crescent lunge. Get strong through your legs. Re-engage through your belly. Start to slowly float your heart away from left side, and then reaching forward and up high crescent lunge. You can have a slight micro bend to the back knee. I find that to be helpful, especially if you find low back tension in your high crescent. Start to use your left hand to grab your right wrist and tip over to your left side. Slowing down your breath, take one more cycle. You want leaning the back of your skull slightly back. I feel your heart get a little bit prouder. As you rise up through our center, the left arm's gonna eagle wrap underneath your right. Shoulders out of ears, hands away from your face. Use your inhale to scoop your elbows to the sky. On your exhale, start to bend your right knee a little bit or a lot, and again, you're pulling your hips back, pulling your front ribs in, as you round through your upper spine. Shoulders relax into your torso, chin might tuck slightly to your chest. And you're trying to bring shoulders over hips over right knee. You get a really big right hip stretch. Engage your belly to spine connection, taking one more breath here. And then following your inhale, press down with your feet, bring yourself upright, engage through your right glute. Exhale, goddess your arms. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades together, let your hands fall behind you. Left thumb's gonna go on top. Big breath in, puff through your heart. Exhale to lean into your left foot. You can always keep both feet grounded, otherwise press into your airplane. So you can have the bind, you can release the bind. You're here for a cycle of breath. And then think about going as slowly as you can, start to release your bind, and then slowly arrive hands and right toes to the earth together. We turn to our right, wide like a forward fold, sink at the center. Take one breath in. And one breath out. Rotating to your right, you're in a low lunge facing the front of your yoga mat. Step back into your high plank. Get really strong to your plank. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring your right knee to your nose. Breathe in, high plank. 
Exhale, left knee towards your nose. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, lower half layer all the way. Inhale to up dog or cobra. And exhale to downward facing dog. Take a huge breath in. And open mouth, exhale, release. Very good, last bit of standing. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, forward fold, step or hop. And a halfway lift as you breathe in. And exhale into your first chair pose. Hips get low, lift through your heart and hands. I know it's incredible you made it this long without a chair. Go ahead and take a big breath in, reach through your hands, and reach it back and down through your sit bones. On breath out, bring your hands to heart center. Squeeze your shoulder blades together to spread your collarbones actively across your heart. So you lean into your left foot, start to flamingo your right heel up and in. Take one, inhale. And one, exhale. With our in breath, we're gonna send it back, airplane pose just for a moment. On your out breath, you're gonna to start to gather it back in, bending both of your knees, bring your right knee to your chest. Hands find heart center. This time, inhale, rise into the sky, reach your hands high, right knee comes in front of you. Exit of figure four, right ankle's gonna stack on your left thigh. Hands might come back to heart center once again. Okay, slide your sits bones back. Take a breath here. Our figure four is to counterbalance what we were doing in our legs. So we do a lot of square neutral hips in our lunges. You can keep your hands at heart center or drawing your front ribs in, maybe goddess your arms to engage that space behind your heart. So you're hinged forward, you're pressing these goalpost arms to the sky, finding big engagement through your shoulder girdle. One more cycle of breath here. On your inhale, slowly rise tall, bring your right knee with you. As you exhale, step down into your chair pose, hands to heart center. Take a breath in. On your breath out, you're gonna lean into your right foot, coming to left to be toes. Eventually, start to flamingo your left heel up and in. Really light up through your core, hug your right hip back, square with your left. We'll inhale, airplane pose, expand. As you exhale, bend both knees, hands come to heart center, your back and your flamingo. Breathing in, rising up tall, left knee comes forward as your hands reach to the sky. As you're ready with a breath out, figure four, hands to heart center. We're giving our left hip some love here. Again, you can stay right here, hands at your chest. Or if you want to, just gently encourage your front ribs in first and then find your goddess arms. So that containment through the front line is going to challenge your upper back to engage more. Re-engage through your belly. Maybe take a wobble, take one more cycle of breath here. When you're ready, you're gonna root to rise, bring your left leg with you just for one more inhale. And your exhale, extend your left foot to the earth, hands to heart center, close your eyes. Deep breath in. And open mouth, exhale out. Breathing in, circle, seek your hands to the ceiling. Maybe you look up to the sky. Exhale, soft knees, hinge forward, forward fold. Take a halfway lift as you inhale. We have one more little stretch moment before we lay down. On your exhale, you're going to step your right foot to the back of your yoga mat. Plant your right palm to the earth and twist your left hand in the sky. So you have some options. You can stay right here. Back knee can be up or down or we're gonna to move to our horizon lunge. 
For your horizon lunge, you're gonna turn all 10 toes to face the left side of your yoga mat. Flex actively through your feet, stay on the outside edges of your feet. Now you might have to walk your left foot a little bit further back, right, towards like the middle of your yoga mat. So you can get your left toes pointing directly to that left side of your yoga mat. Keep flexing through your feet. If it feels okay for your knees, for your body, maybe sink your hips down towards the earth, reach to the back of your yoga mat, breath in. On your exhale, press the earth away, lift your hips and rainbow your left arm overhead. Running your way back to our low lunge. And you are gonna just step forward to your forward fold. So if your left foot adjusted, no worries. Just adjust back into a forward fold top of your yoga mat. Well, inhale to lift up halfway. And we're just gonna check in with second side. As you exhale, place your left foot to the back of your yoga mat. Bent down through your left palm. We're gonna twist open the right hand to the sky. Again, you can stay here, choosing to have your back knee up or on the earth, but horizon lunge should to turn all 10 toes to the right. Adjust your right foot as needed, really actively flex your feet, pull your toes back to your shin bone. Think about lengthening your sternum to the front of your yoga mat as you lean the back of your heart open. You want to add the dip in with your inhale, sink and reach towards the back of the room just for one moment. As you exhale, press the earth away, lift and rainbow your right hand overhead. We'll step back into a downward facing dog this time. Reaching one heel to the earth and then the other, and a little pedal action. And then walk your feet about as wide as your yoga mat and into a short down dog. So in a short and wide down dog, you can bend your knees if you need to. Relaxing through your head, your right hand's gonna reach to grab your left ankle. So you twist underneath yourself, right hand's gonna catch the outside of your left ankle. Softness through your knees, bend your right elbow and then pull your heart underneath your left armpit. Really try to release the weight of your skull. Push the earth away through your left hand and through your feet. Take a big breath in. As that breath empties out, you'll take your time to eventually switch sides. Right hand's reaching forward. Take your left hand to the outside of your right ankle. Your knees, again, might be really generously bent here. As you bend at your left elbow, pull yourself underneath your right armpit. Pushing the earth away, relax your head. Breathe into that space at the back of your body, between your shoulder blades, behind your heart. Breathe into your low back. And then once you're ready, go ahead and just release. Continue to walk your feet forward all the way to the top. Maybe take a one more halfway lift and then bend your knees and sit all the way down. Okay, if you need like a sip of water or coffee or anything, take a moment to grab that. And then we're gonna use our core to lower to our back body. So at the front of your yoga mat, bend your knees and flex your feet into the earth. You can even use your hands underneath your thighs to help you sit up tall initially. Core is strong. You can want just to feel the power of your belly that supports your really good posture here. Let's bring hands to heart center. Take your inhale. As you exhale, navel pulls in and that navel strength is gonna drive your heels into the earth. So belly to spine drives your heels down. A good extra inhale, keeping your core strong. And then as you exhale, slowly start to roll backwards, using the strength of your belly, keeping your heels grounded. Being to reach your hands forward for your counterbalance, you can, but try to keep your shoulders out of your ears. Once you arrive to your back body, breathe into a full body stretch. 
And exhale to slowly bring your knees into your chest. Take your hands to the fronts of your knees and just let your knees fall wide into a modified happy baby. Just like knees are going wide and forward. Right? The downward energy of the weight of your hands is helping to open your hips gently. And slowly start to bring your knees back to about hips distance. Setting up for a bridge pose, place your heels down to the earth, about hips distance apart. Take a nice big breath in. And then use your out breath to help you push the earth away through your feet and through the backs of your arms and lift your hips to your bridge. You might tuck your shoulder blades slightly closer together. Really drive down to the backs of your arms and through your feet. Then that slight hug to the midline as you imagine a yoga block between your thighs to squeeze into. Then take one more cycle of breath. And then use an out breath to gently lower your hips back to the earth. Pausing in stillness, maybe your eyes are closed. And draw your right knee to your chest, interlacing your hands at the front of your right shin for a moment. Pull your thigh in, and then eagle wrap your right thigh on top of your left. We're going to first tip our knees over to the left eagle leg twist. Maybe tip your gaze to the right. And take one big breath in. And one breath out. And then keeping your legs as they are, so right thighs on top of your left. Use your core to slowly bring your knees to center. And then keep that same eagle cross, just let your knees tip over to the opposite side. So knees are falling to the right for a breath. You're going to find those um, same little shapes, those little moments rather, in our eagle legs for second side. So bringing yourself back up. Release your right foot to the earth. Draw your left knee to your left shoulder. Hands catch the front of your left shin. Take an inhale. Exhale, left thigh stacks on top of right. Eagle legs are going to fall to the right for a breath. Your gaze tip towards your left hand. One slow inhale. And one slow exhale. Breathe your knees through center, keeping your left thigh stacked on your right. And as you breathe out, your legs tip to the opposite side to the left, just for a breath. When you're ready, start to bring yourself back to center. Take your time, unwinding your legs, bring your knees to your chest. Maybe curl your nose up to your knees, taking one more big breath in. And as you exhale, Shavasana, send everything out long. Take a moment to adjust your body. Allowing your eyes to close. As you continue to settle into stillness.
you find that the moment you start to sink into stillness, your mind begins to get busy, thinks that it will be helpful by becoming busy and its mind productive. <clears throat> And can we give ourselves permission to settle into stillness and rest? Sometimes the greatest gift that we can offer ourselves and offer our productivity is to actually take time to simply be and breathe. And that balancing out our effort with ease ultimately lead to more sustainable effort that we can put forth. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And then just let that breath go. Either staying exactly as you are so that you can continue to rest and restore. Or maybe gently bringing one or both of your hands to your heart. We'll close our practice from this grounded space today, just allowing the earth to hold us for a little bit longer. We take this last moment to pause in gratitude, again, acknowledging the yoga practice, and all that this practice offers us in terms of insight, clarity, and connection, also the tools that it provides, a lifelong companion that it can be. And then pausing in gratitude for our bodies and our breath, our physical vessel and the breath that sustains us. We'll take a deep inhale through the nose one more time. And then open mouth, exhale, let it go. And may yoga offer us a path to compassion and may our practices serve as our teachers always leading us to live with authenticity and to love deeply each and every day. Thank you so much for being here and namaste.